in my time zone when my mind's gone and I'm flying home and I'm stressed out and I'm tempted to get that style phone and go pull it up but you know what's up and you know that ain't gonna solve nothing I mean Lord forbid I might fall or something and I'm all another cuz to hold me down like bitch straps to the sight ward it's killing me but you still with me when I fight hard and Digging me when I'm egging you Deal with me when my car's pulled Could've dealt with me But you fell for me Before I fell for you Keep me on that right path And the right math Is you plus nothing's everything You my everything Same You ain't gotta question my allegiance Cause the way you love me I could never leave I need you By my side How did I fall in this? No condition that get a mention, but you offer this Unconditional love, I swear I sell it all for this Trying to keep it together, forget my awkwardness But I'm um, off to this, just you and me off in this Look, 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 look. My brethren upon us a great evil From under the whole heaven Has not been done as had been done upon Jerusalem So it makes it very clear, because of our sins we get a double portion of the licks that the other nations never get. Right? We, we get it so dread that the other nations never face the kind of torture that we went through. Right? We other people need to understand that. You have a scripture there? We other people need to understand these things to show that the most high world is powerful, it's very sure. And if, see, and if the most high says something, it will happen. The book of Exodus chapter 24 and verse 3. And Moses came and told the people all the words of the Lord and all the judgments. And all the people answered with one voice and said, All the words which the Lord had said will we do. And Moses wrote all the words of the Lord and rose up early in the morning and built an altar under the hill and twelve pillars according to the twelve tribes of Israel. And he sent young men of the children of Israel which offered burnt offerings and sacrificed peace offerings of oxen unto the Lord. And Moses took half of the blood and put it in basins, and half of the blood he sprinkled on the altar. And he took the book of the covenant and read in the audience of the people. And they said, All that the Lord had said will we do and be obedient. So we made a covenant with the Most High. We say all that the Most High say, we will do and be obedient and we, and we broke it later down the road. Right? So what covenant? What is the book of the covenant? Anybody can tell me? Because at that time we did not know um, Joshua up to Dr. Malachi because that is in the early stages. The book of the covenant is based upon the five book of Moses. Right? From Genesis to Deuteronomy. That is what the book of the covenant is according to the Bible. And in those books have all the commandments and laws according to the Bible. So let me find out what the Bible say it is according to the most I would. And verse 7, and verse 27, and the Lord said unto Moses, write down these words, for after the terror of these words, I have made a covenant with thee and with Israel. Verse 28, and he was there with our power 14 days and 14 nights. He did neither eat bread nor drink water, and he wrote upon the tables the words of the covenant. The what? The words of the covenant. The what? The words of the covenant. What is it? The Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments is the words of the covenant. So we right. cannot break that, brother and sisters. We cannot, according to the Bible. You understand what I'm saying? So this is why what we need to know according to the words of the Most High. All people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, not right. knowing these things. You understand? Give me the book of uh, Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 8. Insane. <laughs> the 
the book of Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 8. And what nation is there so great that hath statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law? As all this what? This law which I said before you this day. Only take heed to thyself and keep thy soul diligently, lest thou forget the things which thy eyes have seen, and lest they depart from thy heart all the days of thy life. But teach them thy sons and thy sons' sons. Especially the day that thou stoodest before the Most High thy Creator in horror. When the Most High said unto me, Gather me the people together, and I will make them hear my words, that they may learn to fear me all the days that they shall live upon the earth, and that they may teach their children. So the Bible makes it very clear, especially time the, the Most High gives the Ten Commandments and Horeb, that is how, how the Most High deal with the children of Israel. Not only the Ten Commandments, but all the laws, but the Ten Commandments is the major commandments of all the laws. You understand that? So we understand that from the scripture. Yep. The book of Exodus, chapter 24 and verse 7. Exodus, chapter 24 and verse 7. And he took the book of the covenant and read in the audience of the people and they said all that the Lord had said will we do and be obedient right so so we understand from the scripture that is very clear right we say all that the most high say we will do and be obedient right so the Bible tell her and when we do the 24 verse 8 just now that the law makes us a righteous nation by keeping the law, we become a righteous nation. That's why the other, other nations envy us because the law was only given to us. You understand what I'm saying? So here we Bible say, read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 26 and verse 1. In that day shall this song be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. Salvation will God appoint for walls and bulwarks. Open ye the gates that the righteous nation which keepeth the truth may enter in. That the righteous nation which keepeth the truth may enter in. May enter in. So you want to know who entered in the gates of the city? Look at right there. Who, what is the truth? Right? Let me find out. Let me find out what is the truth according to the Bible. Right? Go to the book of Psalms chapter 119 verse 151. Right? We're going we're gonna to break it down on that shelf for you. Give me Janet and Revelation 22, 14. The book of Psalm, chapter 119, and verse 151. Thou art, thou art near, O Lord, and all thy judgments are true. All thy what? Thy judgments are true. And all thy commandments are truth. And all thy commandments are truth. Right? So thou are near, O, o, o Mosai, and all thy commandments are truth. So when the Bible talks about the righteous nation, is those that keep the truth will enter any kingdom. Let me find out if we're talking about the commandments or you're talking about somebody else. Right, Revelation 22, 14. Revelation chapter 22 and verse 14. Blessed are they that do have commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. So it's talking about the commandments. Right, that is the truth. And those people are the people that entered into the gates of the city. Right? That is what the Bible says. Sister across the road. Hello? Good night. How are you going? You, you like the message so far? You want to come across so we can, um, um, so we can live with one another? If it's possible. You know the Bible very well? What do you know about the Bible? What you know about the Bible that you can share with us? I I I have done so I really know nothing. Please teach me. That I can learn something from you. 
So you're just listening, right? All right, okay. All right. So let me hear what the Bible says according to the words of the most high. So, yeah, okay. Yeah, re, uh, read it again for me, Tom. Revelation chapter 22 and verse 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter into the gates into the city. For without a door. So, only the people that keep the commandments enter in the gates of the city, and they will have access to the tree of life. And the tree of life gives the eternal life according to Genesis chapter 3 verse 22. So you get eternal life and you're going in the city. But he say in verse 15, he say without, that means outside of that city, are dogs. That means people that is considered as dogs. Not talking about actual dogs that you see running around here. You talk about people that are considered as dogs. Your attitude is not nice. Right? That is what you're talking about. Read on. For without are dogs, and sorcerers, and warmongers, and murderers, and idolaters, and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. So, the most I put, um, according to the scripture, he put lion as a real media scribe with murderers and sorcerers and idolaters. So, that is to show you how a lie is so seriously put down in this world that we live in that is all lies and deception that we, we live in around right so let me find out what the most i will do to those that love lies and make lies and all these things that you see that is named there what the bible say about it give me revelation 21 8. revelation chapter 21 and verse 8 but the faithful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and warmongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars and all what liars and all liars but shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death and the most i say that is the second death so the first death is the death of your flesh on earth here when your when your body goes in the grave right but the second death is the destruction of your soul right and that will be destroying the lake of fire according to the Bible. So we have to understand what the Most High is telling us so that that will not happen to us. We must keep the Most High laws and commandments so that the Most High will, we will escape this type of um, judgment that will be placed upon a, a disobedient people. Just say the Most High. That's right. Right? So, brothers and sisters, I believe you are ready to give the creator. You have to face on your house here. I'll hand over to our next brother so that somebody will take over. Financially, mentally, everything. But we are the top 
Once we come back to keep these Lord Cathars and Commandments. That's right. What's that verse? 15. Verse 15. But that shall come to pass. If the Lord not happen unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So if we don't obey the voice of the Lord, for those who go in the church, which is abominable by the way, the voice of the Lord is not for your pastor say you have a dream and Jesus. The voice of the Lord is the words of the Most High. Read. To observe and to do all his commandments which are and the statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So let us see these curses and identify who we are. Verse 16. Curse shall, curse shall not be in the city, and curse shall not be in the field. Our people are cursing the city and cursing the field. When I look at the vagrants, it is predominantly our people. That's right. When I look at the estate in which we sell and things by the side of the street, in our car here, in our car there, we are cursed. When I look at the state of the city, it's like a state we are in the field. We can't even own, produce our own food. We, we walk, we, they walk us like dogs in the slave plantation. We are cursed. Read. Cursed. Read. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy stone. You know how many black, so called black people own stores have to close down in this time in particular? But guess what? All the other nations, the Syrians, etc., the Chinese, they flourish in this time. We are cursed. And on our basket, now my people got black groceries. People who own things in certain malls have to close down. Again, this is our people. Read. Curse shall be the fruits of thy body and the fruits of thy land. The fruit of our body, because guess what? It's murders, 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 murders. That is what happened in Antas. And the fruit of our land. Why? Because the most high, because we broke the commandments. He made make diseases come and deal with our cattle. Yeah. Make the other nations come and eat up our cattle. Read. The increase of thy kind. The increase of thy kind. Because guess what? A lot of these other nations hate to see us as a people growing. They always try to cut down our seed. They always try to make us less. Read. And the flocks of thy sheep. And the flocks of thy sheep. Read. Curse shall not be when thou comest in. And curse shall thou be when thou goest out. From the time we born into this earth or this thing, we are in captivity. We are cursed from when we born, and cursed when we leave. Now too, unless we come back to the Most High and keep His commandments, read. That's right. The Lord shall send upon thee cursing, cursing. Our people right now, we are at the bottom. We are ourselves just conform and say by like that people curse. Read. Vexation and rebuke and rebuke and correction. That is why, again, we fill the prison houses. That is why we fill most of the sicknesses. Read. In, in all that thou settest thy, thy hand upon, for the, sorry, right to the scripture saying, all that thou settest thy hand unto for to do. So in, in anything we have to do, it will be difficult. You're black. You're so called black. You want to own a business, it will be difficult. You want to go and buy a certain car, it will be difficult. We have a amount of money stashing our savings, it's difficult. You want to walk the streets, it's difficult. Read. Until we be destroyed. Until we be destroyed, and we are destroyed right now mentally. Read. And until now perish quickly. Because until we perish quickly, because guess what? Look at the youth. How many youths live in until they see 19, 25, 13, 35? Read. Black youths, that is. We dying out. We killing out each other. We have to come back and apply. Let, let there be less hatred. We murder each other for nothing. Read. Because of the wickedness of, of thy doings, whereby thou hast forsaken me. Because we've had forsaken the most high law, statutes, and commandments. You want the carnival, big COVID-19 win, but you see now our people jumping up and protesting because it's no carnival. We are, we are simply an astonishment. In a pandemic, the first thing going through your mind is carnival. Read. 
the Lord shall make the pestilence creep unto thee. Until he have consumed thee. Pestilence, gout, high blood pressure, diabetes. Mass, everything. That is what the Mosaic do to us. For lack of keeping his commandments and obeying him. And lack of understanding what he said and even willing to hear. Read. Where are those words to propose it? Wherever we go to possess it. Read verse 22. Yeah. Verse 22. So again, when you look at these things and look at the statistics, it's our people, Mr. Blackman, Carib the Arawak people, the Hispanic people. We are those who fit this category with full effect. So that shows that we are God's chosen people. That shows that we are the Israelites. That shows that we just obey the most high and given us the punishment. But we are come back. According to the scriptures, Christmas. Where is that? That is our pagan holiday. But we celebrate it. Missile to what are missile to have to do with the most high? But we like we love it. Pork is abomination. Pork is a scavenger. It's unclean meat, but we love it. We have to learn to read and not just hear from what the pastor say. Read. First, verse 22. The Lord shall smite thee with a consumption. And with a fever. And with a fever again. The Aedes aegypti mosquito yellow fever. Our people predominantly we fill this category. It cannot be coincidence. That what the scripture is saying. Read. And with an information. An information. Our, our people always say. Go in the hospital. The other nations have it. But we call it the most. Read. And with an extreme burning, with extreme burning, extreme fever, breathe. And with a sword, and with a blasting, and with the mildew, and with a mildew. So basically, all these things are curses upon us that the Most High put upon us because why? We refuse to do this. First John chapter five and verse three. Something as simple, something that you all say that you profess to do. You love God. Everybody, let's say you love God. Everybody, brother, with the folk, with the mass, do you love God? No answer. Read. Book of 1 John chapter 5 and verse 3. The book of 1 John chapter 5 and verse 3. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandment, and his commandments are not previous. So the love of God is to keep his commandments. That's so these right. curses, read them back in the curses. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 23. Read. And the heaven that is over thy head shall be blessed. So Christianity taught that the heaven is already placed to the Mosai as we again. There are different levels to the word heaven. As we see in Genesis when the Mosai created the birds to fly in the open from the month of heaven. In this context, however, the heaven, the heaven that we are in right now is not our heaven, it's our captivity and it's the other race is heaven. That's right. That's right. Their rulership. So when the scripture really saying, and in thy captivity, or anyone who is ruling that is over our head, shall be brass, shall be brass. Brass is something hard, I meaning it's hard bonded to it. Look at the hours we have to work. Look at what they're paying us through. Read. And the earth, and the earth that is under thee shall be iron. Shall be iron, I meaning it's hard. Hard work. That would be as well. When they hear hard work, they don't see a nigga. That is the truth. We are the bottom, that is, that is why we are the bottom. Because we refuse to keep the most high commandment. Yes. Look at the music, look at how they want our youths to be. They are allowing certain type of music which promoting adultery, promoting murder. But yet when they do the murder, when our people do the murder, whoever do the murder, they have a problem with it. And they say, no, how that could happen and thing. Music contains spirit, and you are what you listen. So how could you promote all these different type of things? And then when it happens now, and it has so much of crime, you're vexed. You want to say, but what are we going to do about the crime? And you want to blame the government, blame your damn self. Read. That's right. Verse 25. Verse 25. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thy enemies. Look at, look at the caravan Arawak here. They were smitten, they were killed, and as the majority. Before our enemies. Yes, our enemies are the ones who put us in this captivity. 
Who are they? You call Kia Janodi, he's a Mike's or the so called white man, a friendly neighborhood white man who portray himself to be an angel, a messenger of light, who portray himself to be all the heroes, who portray himself to be all good, to be all happy, to sacrifice himself for a black person. And most famous one, this image of Christ. This image of Christ, they the one who they portray themselves to be blasphemy against the Mosai. How dare can you take and know the image of the Mosai as being dark as we will see? And you put yourself as being white. And what this image, you killed a lot of people and tried for them to convert to your understanding. And in it, you pay them. And in it, it's just rape, robbery, deceit, and murder. That is talking about the so-called white man. Look at the movie. Look at the movie, the new Ken Kong movie, the, they went into an island. As the brother pointed out, it was peaceful. The first thing the destroyer to do is want to drop a bomb on a peaceful place. That's why come deal with them. Read. Yes. And guess what? They mock us. Yeah, they want to call us gorilla. They want to call us Kong. That's right. Look at Planet of the Apes. It's just a mockery on us. That's Read. Right. They shall go. They shall go out. One way against them. And flee. Seven ways before them. Say that with God, thou shalt go out one way against them. And three seven ways before them. That's how we end up on the all over the Latin West Coast Africa. Because we scattered, we ran from them, those of us that escaped to the four corners of the earth. And then they put us in captivity and moved all of us there. Three. And shall be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. And we will be removed. We will be carried captive into all the kingdoms of the earth. Read. Verse Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 26. And verse 26. And thy carcass shall be meat unto all fowls of the earth. Right? So basically when they kill us, they ain't even burn some of us. They leave us there like dung. Like tutu. That's how they leave us to die. After, after we die, that's how they leave us. Read. And unto the beast of the earth and no man shall spread them away because guess what it's a disrespect after our body dies to just leave it how you would feel or how i would feel if one of our loved one dies and they just leave their body in the open for a bird for a dog for a pig to come and eat it that's a disrespect and that's how they make us go up that's how after they kill us that's how it cut they say i we bad we is this we is the soul we is the ones who rule us but guess what the time come and read Look on the journey, chapter 28 and verse 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. With madness. Stop a brother here who does run into lampposts in a river. Our people does do all kind of mad thing, dancing for no reason in the front of the streets. That's our people predominantly. Read. And blindness. And blindness of the scripture. A lot of us have physical blindness, but a lot of us have the spiritual blindness to read. And, and astonishment. Of heart, real. Of heart. Our, our people passing. You ask them a question Do you love God? What is your heritage? Disappear. Not even answering. You're talking with me one time about this. Go I tell you, look up to talk to you in a car going. And happen twice for the night. Read. Thou shalt group at noonday as the blind group it in darkness. We shall group. Because why? At the captivity, the level of captivity we are in. Right. No rest. Because any days of slavery, they used to work us. You see how our grandmothers and grandfathers, when they old, 70 something, 80 something, we, they used to walk us. No work. They used to make us walk until we die. Any slave plantation. Say, Mr. Blackman, Carib Arawak and Hispanic. We have to come back. We have to understand who we are. We have God's chosen people. We are royalty. We are the real kings of the earth. That's right. And we are the king of the kingdom to come. Uh, and we have to understand this and we have to apply this. We have to apply hey, forgiveness hey, one to each other. We have hey, to have Shout out Lee, man. You know, you know we brothers for life. No foe. Hey, hey, Back hey. in that mode. You wanna expose. Woo. I told the whole truth. Who am I to judge you? Lord, I need you. Help me leave my people. my people You know I'm as real as it gets And most of these ox they see through Back in that mode Your spirit help me move I'm keeping my mind on you So I will not
I fall or lose If it comes you to sin and cut it off The scriptures they help when I'm going off It's time to rebuild, yeah At the end I pray that I'm sealed, yeah Most high with me you Used to be drugging and getting Now I'm just reading them scriptures Seeking this knowledge I find any problems Repenting to see the kingdom Fasting my demons out No, I'm not looking for clout I, I took a spiritual route I pray that you figure it out I'm in that mode again for all of my sins, I'm using my sword again. They like reverse you in. Never controlling me. Them angels surrounding me. First they was doubting the truth. When that martial law hit, they won't know what to do. I'm in that mode again. Trying to change all of my friends. Used to didn't know, but I figured it out. Gotta endure to the end. Keeping them lost to the end. Straight and narrow be the way. So that's the path I'm going to take. Back in that mode. I told the whole truth. Who am I to judge you? Lord, I need you. Help me leave my peace. You know I'm as real as it gets. And most of these locks they see. Back in that mode. Your spirit help me move. I'm keeping my mind on you. So I will not fall or lose. If it causes you to sin and cut it off. The scriptures they help when I'm going off. It's time to rebuild, yeah. At the end, I pray that I'm sealed, yeah. For your dividends But it's all good Father, I just wanna pray for my hood Just know that I'm doing the best that I could I wanna be a light to your people Help them pay it down the back Back in the mode You wanna expose who? I told the whole truth Who am I to judge you? Lord, I need you Help me lead my people You know I'm as real as it gets And most of these locks they see you through Back in that mode Your spirit help me move I'm keeping my mind on you, so I will not fall or lose. If it causes you to sin, and cut it off. The scriptures they help when I'm gone.